A lot of times when I say that I'm reading the balance sheet, I'm understanding composition of these broad categories here. Means I'm trying to understand what are the components of equity. How much is the equity which is in the form of face value of shares? How much is the securities premium? How much is the retained earnings? That is the historical profits earned by the company which have been ploughed back in the business, which have been retained in the business. Or there could be a fourth component here which is alternative to this and that may be accumulated losses. So I may have equity which is result of face value of shares, securities premium and the retained earnings or the accumulated losses. Like this, I may be finding out the composition of the current assets as well. When I do that, I again break it up and analyze different components of current assets, which mean I'll be looking at the cash and cash equivalent. So let me say cash and bank. Receivables or debtors. Inventory. Loans and advances. And any other current assets. So again, I'm trying to understand what is the composition of current assets in this case. I'll try to find out whether cash and balance makes up the most of the current assets or is it inventories which are making up most of the current assets. If it is majority in the form of inventory and very less cash and bank, that means the inventory is still to be sold and then I will actually have money in my bank account. So again, I am analyzing the composition of current assets in this case. Similarly, I can analyze the composition of fixed assets or the current liabilities or the non-current liabilities. This tells me what are these broader categories comprised of.